What's up everybody, CryptiCoding here, welcome back to another game development video. In this video you guys will learn about random enemy generation in Godot. So let's get started. First I added the enemy places script. This is a basically a simple script that uh, does any enemy random generation in Godot, okay? So let's get just hop into it and let's learn about how it works. First, the number of en enemies to spawn is a a five and then we exported that thing and uh, which did target or which object you need to um, which object you need to uh, instance is here which is the enemy and we are preloading it with the enemy scene and then we have the export x equal to zero y equal to zero you don't, no need for exporting for God's sake but I just did and there's some random random things going on so let's get uh, like straight into, into it about how it works and the first we do is uh, getting a random new generator okay we do a random gen number generator dot new then we get the screen size because we want to uh, actually put our things into the screen size okay get viewport dot size then we iterate through those enemies using the range function starting with one and then iterating through the enemies and we have uh, two variables you don't need actually this x and y zero why do i have them i don't know but we have a var x range which is the random random dot range which generates between zero to the screen size the x is a random number between zero and the screen side dot x uh, value same for the y range and uh, same for the y range except, except for the y and this is getting the x then we have a we are instancing the enemy instance so enemy instance equal to enemy dot instance next what we are doing here is saying pose equal to a vector 2 because it is a vector 2 then we are setting the pose dot x equal to x range pose dot y equals y range why we did that because it's a positional variable and we'll say enemy instance dot position equal to position so we are actually giving it a a random uh, position between those and then we're just adding this child simple 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 stuff this is not that much more complex stuff going on but it took me years literally years not literally uh, to find out what is going on over here so let's see uh, how it works so, but before you do anything you're uh, if you do random generation you're all of those things all of those uh, what what are the all of those enemies will come over here above the trees and stuff which you don't want so to fix this you need to click uh, on the I think on the ground or oh, it is in the decorations because we do decorations over here like this uh, it doesn't work which is which, which sucks but it is just uh, clicking on the tile set uh, clicking on the tile set Clicking on this tile set right over here, we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll make it up. And we have to do is just click. And then you see this collision box? Click this little thing right over here. You just need to click on that uh, thing you want to add a collision to. So if you do that, it's really, really easy. Just click, uh, we'll just go uh, click on the decoration and add uh, like a tree here. And if I go there, as you can see, I can't go there. I can't, I can't, I can't go there. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty weird. <laughs> so there's more advanced stuff going on because I, I want the player to go behind the trees, which I can't. Uh, but it will be covered, I think, in the next couple of videos. But for now, this is how it works. This is basically so simple about random degeneration and you can find your stuff over here there's a lot of enemies there should be a lot of enemies over here and yeah this is how it works basically so thank you guys for watching we'll be seeing you in the next video peace